I want to make another Minecraft cheating tutorial. The last one was on duplicating items. As you can see in my item bar, I duplicated dirt to have a high amount of dirt. The same concept can be applied to giving yourself a high amount of health so that you become almost invincible. You don't have to watch my previous tutorial because I'm still going to go I'm going to go over the basics again. Uh, if you've played Minecraft before, you know that you don't have just 10 health. You have 10 health hearts. But each heart can be divided in two. So, for example, let's say I fall off of a fairly high tower. See, I have one, two, three, four, five, and a half hearts. I have five and a half hearts. I don't have any whole number so obviously my full value of hearts can't be 10 whenever I have a full health bar I do not have 10 health points I have 20 health points each health heart stands for two health points so right now I'm missing four and a half hearts so four and a half times two is gonna be nine I'm missing nine health points so I'm gonna go ahead and let this recharge Right, right now I have 10 hearts. 10 hearts means I have 20 health points. So the internals of the game are telling me I can get 20 damage inflicted towards my character before I die. So what I have to do, I need to open up Cheat Engine. Just like last time, I need to choose the Java W process, which is right there. Uh need to go ahead and warn you there's another process called jusched.exe it has a similar icon it's also related to java but we don't want to do we don't want to use that javaw.exe is the process we're using all right so the value of my health right now is not 10 the value of my health is 20 because each one of my health each one of my health hearts has a value of 2 and i have 10 health hearts which means i have a value of 20 so I want to scan the entire game for the value of 20. I'm going to do a first scan, which is going to scan the entire game for any value of 20. Technically, I could change all of these values to a high number, but there would be a good chance of the game crashing, since that's changing almost 20,000 different values. So what I'm going to do, I want to filter it. I want to, I want to do another scan that will only scan for changes in the values I have right here. If you don't understand that, uh, maybe you'll understand once I show you. I want to get myself hurt again. So I'm going to jump off of a tower. Now I have one, two, three, four, five hearts. And remember each one of these has a value of two. So when I add five twos together, I get ten. So I want to filter this. I want to search for which one of these values changed to the number ten. So I'm going to do a next scan. Now I have three values in the number 10. I want to, I want to do a little bit uh, more exact. So I'm going to let these recharge. And when I go back over here, I should be able to find one of these that has a value of 20. Because, like I said, each one of these has a value of 2. I right, look back over here. Yep, this value here is my health. And when I change this, I'll be able to change my health. Here, changing the name to health doesn't really do anything, but it just keeps it a little bit more organized. So I want to change the value of this to a high number. Uh, for example, 10,000. Now, my health, which was originally 20, don't confuse this with 10. I can't stress this enough. It is not, the value of your health is not 10 at 4, it's 20. But now my full value is not 20, it's 10,000. So to test this, I'm going to get a really high tower that if I jumped off of it in most circumstances without hacking it would kill me. I want to jump off of here. My health didn't even change, it's still full. But over here you can see that it changed. Sorry if I didn't explain it well enough, so I'm going to go over one 
last thing for the last time. Each one of your health hearts counts as two, not one. If I have 10 health hearts, I add those together and I have a value of 20. And over here, I want to do the first scan of 20. Anyway, now I have an infinite, well not infinite, but a high amount of health that makes me nearly invincible. So if I were to go underwater, I could uh, efficiently swim underwater for a large amount of time without actually without actually uh, wasting my uh, health. Uh, now I'm underwater. Uh. See, this is changing, but I still have enough hearts to be alive. That's really useful if you wanna, if you're doing things that are really tedious and can easily get you killed. Anyways, this is my second video tutorial on hacking Minecraft.